I was watching some stuff that I shouldn't have been watching, and now they've got me a little bit upset. Of course, I was watching some SJW nonsense. Now, one of these things is that they're trying to push disability as identity. Not the I'm perfectly able-bodied and I identify as someone with a disability. They're talking actual disabled people and that being disabled is an identity in itself that it must be protected. Okay. So they want to write a bunch of laws to protect that identity rather than trying to prevent the disability from happening or to create programs that would accommodate people with these certain disabilities. But no, notice what they're doing here. They're pushing a disability as an identity so that they do that instead of pushing for the economic reforms necessary to treat disabled people like everybody else. Okay, for example, someone with Down syndrome, you are allowed to legally pay them less than the wage of a regular worker. Now, I don't know what Marxist actually believes in that. I believe it's, uh, yeah, each according to their ability to each according to their work, or each according to their ability, each according to their ability to their need. So they've just increased the rate of exploitation on disabled people. Well, rather than fighting laws like that, they're pushing for things like identity, for like something to be recognized. Uh, uh, that's, th there's even an idea that there's a deaf culture. Well, they have their own language, they have their own ways of doing things, so therefore it's a culture which really is not what a culture is. Okay, I mean, they kind of fail to understand what a disability is. It's an ability, hearing, that's not working. That's a disability. There's something in the human body that's damaged and needs to be repaired. I mean, the same thing goes for Down syndrome. It's an error within genetic coding that needs to be fixed. Here's a prime example. According to some studies, people with Down syndrome may very soon become a thing of the past. It's not happening anymore. Genetic research has gone to a point where we can now identify the beginnings of Down syndrome in people and women who do not want to be burdened with this kind of difficulty can choose to have an abortion. And of course, because it has to do with abortion, the right has to chime in in order to support stopping abortion, regardless of the consequences. Now, a Canadian group has decided that they want people with Down syndrome to be placed on the endangered species list. Now, I'm not kidding or even taking that the wrong way. Literally, yes, the endangered species list, they want to put a group of human beings on it. Now, putting a group of human beings on a list of animals is an entire problem altogether. But to simply list people no longer having a disability as somehow making them endangered is dumb. If we know that there's a problem with somebody before they're born and we have an ability to correct it, or the mother decides that she does not want to live a life wholly dedicated to this child's disability... Well, they believe that's something that should be stopped. Now, with anybody who has ever raised a severely autistic child, as, uh, frankly, my sister is, my sister has, that is a full-time job in itself, and that places incredible strain on the family, its financial resources, the relationships between the parents. It is a tremendous amount of... Of, of work. It's a tremendous amount of sacrifice that some people are incapable of doing and not one that people should have to do if it's not something that they can handle. It's not something they should be subjected to. And of course, this is being used as an excuse to fight um, abortion. Well, you shouldn't have an abortion because the child has Down syndrome because then that's genocide because Down syndrome is an identity. So you can see where the complete utter nonsense in this situation is coming from that literally these SJWs are standing in the way of correcting flaws that occur within people you know like like my eyes I wear glasses because there is something wrong with my eyes this is not a disability in the legal sense it doesn't prevent me from working etc but this is something that is wrong with me that does need to be fixed 
that this doesn't give me the identity of a person with glasses, although my glasses are pretty nice. But instead, what's happened? Glasses have been turned into, into a, 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 what do you call it? A fashion accessory. Now you got to get the one to do this, to do that, to go with this outfit, to go with that outfit. No, it's a problem with your eyes that need to be fixed. But capitalism has turned it into a commodity that not only can they make money because people need glasses, but they can now charge extra and make more money because it's a fashion accessory. So you see where this like SJW idea comes from. It, it's coming from the bourgeoisie, and it's all in order to f forward corporate profits. That's how the system works. Okay, here's another example. A lot of uh, primarily white women are going on social media and pretending to be black. Now they have, I mean, not even talking about the was an alt rightist essentially did partial blackface and scam people out of money. I'm not talking about them. They're a whole separate problem altogether. I'm talking about regular white women who have gone and tanned their skin very dark because white people are inherently evil. And then they are getting it in their minds somehow that they are a person of color when having a tan does not make you one. And they end up acting like they are a person of color and then they end up even saying that they're a person of color. I mean, it, it's, it's, it's complete and utter nonsense. And some of them are even begging for money on that basis without explicitly saying, no, I'm not part black. I look like it and I present myself that way, but I'm not explicitly saying it kind of thing. Now, here's one that will not shut up and will not go away. The issue of a white woman having sex with a black man. Frankly, I don't care who you have sex with. And it's not really anybody else's business who you have sex with. Have sex with the people you want to have sex with, and they want to have sex with you. Try not to forget the idea of consent. But here's, here's something that's very interesting. When a white supremacist goes out and says, you sh they shouldn't be allowed or shouldn't be having sex with black men because dilute the race, blah, 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 whatever nonsense, that's racist. When you tell them they should go out and have sex with black men just to make them angry, that is also racist. When you're going out and having sex with somebody of another race simply because you know there's a group of people that don't like it or you think that you're bucking society or you're rebelling against the system or your father, that's the wrong reason to have sex with somebody. That's racist because then you're using that person, tokenizing them in that regard. How about this? How about we just leave people alone and let them date who they want? If you're attracted to this person and they want to go out with you, go for it. Do it. But when you're looking at that person as something to use to get back at society or get back at your father, you're being just as racist. Or to get, to get back at your family if you're a, a white man that uh, particularly enjoys black women. If that just happens to be like a fetish that you have, you know, have at it. But if you're doing it to rebel against society, then you're doing something wrong and you're doing something racist. Now, this is just some things that I've, been, I've had on my mind thinking about these uh, horribly awful SJWs. And normally I wouldn't care what an SJW was doing if there weren't so many bloody Marxists or bloody liberals trying to pass themselves off as Marxists repeating this kind of SJW nonsense. And those incorrect lines must be corrected. And I think we know that. I think it's obvious by now that if you, that if the support of the SJW line is anti-Marxist, it inherently reduces things to liberal constructs of identity, not material reality, and not the actual class system that creates the system that, that is the system. Like you can point out racism, but the basis of the system is not racism, it's class. The black bourgeoisie will sell out poor black people just as fast as uh, rich white people would sell out poor white people. So, that's all I really have to say about that. Thank you for watching. If you like this program, then please head over to my Patreon page and set up a monthly donation. It's your donations that keep this program running. Also, if you would like, please rate, comment, subscribe, and share in various social media.